Hi everybody, it is Zach, and I am here again to talk to you about the latest episode of Project Runway Junior. This week I just wanted to talk a little bit about how much I hate team challenges. Um, I think it's just kind of like a little bit of manufactured drama that doesn't really do a good job of highlighting individuals. And just a really quick shout out again to the Lifetime video player for being awful. I was not able to watch live because I had to work late last Thursday, which is also why this video is coming out a bit later than is ideal. The Lifetime video player is just, it's just, just terrible. Um, and I don't think it's just my internet. I think it's just a general thing because I've talked to some friends who've watched other Lifetime things like Dance Moms and, and Little Women, maybe, I don't know. Um, I don't, what, do, what else do people watch on Lifetime? Serious question. Um, and so I think it's just awful is what I'm trying to say. It's terrible. That's all. Um, so I will just say like, is there really anything to talk about in this episode outside of Hawa and Akai? Um, Akai is so cute. So cute. Um, and he, I just, I don't, I just don't know what to say. Like, he's awkward, and that's what makes him so great. Like, is he a good designer? Probably not. Um, you know, he, he talked about horse pooping, and he took time to be like, thank you for everybody who helped us in the process of getting this fabric. Um, I could have literally died and I recognize that was an awful, awful impression. I'm just here to give you my opinions, not do celebrity impressions. Um, and I like or liked Hawa prior to this episode, so it makes me sad that she wasn't working well with Akai, but I have to say she was a turd, a big fat turd. Um, she had a really bad attitude, um, and instead of looking at how much fun everybody else was having, she needed to really pay attention to herself um, and stop comparing herself to other people because it was a little out of control. I also appreciated when little Kai was like, that doesn't look done, it looks like toilet paper rolls to her. Like, that was hilarious. And then Hawa was like, oh my god, I'm done, I'm done. Okay, well get over there and help your partner, girl. Help your partner. You have no room to complain, all right? Okay? The one redeeming factor about all of this is like, Tim Gunn is really good with kids. That, that warmed my cold dead heart. Cold dead heart was warmed. I just have to say, like, post Tim coming in, Hawa was still rude and I just have some questions. Like, do they have any seats or chairs in the, in the workroom because Hawa needed to take several seats. Several. No stools, nothing, nowhere for her to take a seat because she should have. So let's go back to the runway. Um, Chris and Renee for me were probably actually the worst. For me, worse than Hawa and, and Akai because I kind of feel like Chris and Renee were borderline costume, borderline ready to wear. None of that seemed avant-garde to me. Um, not that I'm an expert, but you know, it just didn't seem very, didn't seem very avant-garde. Um, the other thing for me is really Hawa and Akai, their real problem was construction. I think if they would have had better construction, folks would have been a little less salty with them. I'm just saying. Um, but Tyler and Molly are my faves this week. I agree with the judges 100%. I was very inspired by that look. Um, I also didn't realize until he was on the runway that he was wearing a necklace, a beaded like 90s kid necklace that said queer kids. And I'm here for it. I just want to just want to put that out there. Um, and I would say Chelsea and Allie were, were also in the correct placement right behind, um, Tyler and Molly. I, I liked their design. I thought it was okay. It kind of reminded me a little bit, um, of Christian Siriano's avant-garde challenge way back when he was originally on Project Runway. So I kind of like that and I'm not surprised that Christian Siriano was a fan. That ending, y'all. 
I was heartbroken when Akai was, was eliminated. He looked so sad. It was so sad. I don't cry a lot, but I, well, I do, I do, let's be real, but I didn't cry here. Um, and it warmed my cold head heart again. Like, I feel like somebody put my heart in the microwave and warmed it up, thought it. Um, but it warmed my heart when Tim Gunn used to save on Akai. I mean, kind of a waste because let's be honest, I don't think Akai is the strongest, but I'm happy to have him. And I kind of could have done without Tim saying he would have saved Hawa. She doesn't deserve that. No, she put herself in that situation. All right. Um, so, drum roll please this week. Our Cutie Kick of the Week award goes to Tim Gunn. He, uh, I just was like so impressed with his child skills. He has patience. He knows the right thing to say. Tim, Tim, this one's for you. I appreciate you. And that's all I have this week. I feel like this might have been like a little bit of a short video, but I've been like really pressed. So I haven't really had time to do this. Work is kind of crazy. Um, but if you like this video, please do subscribe down below. Um, click the little notification bell. Click like, give me a thumbs up. Follow me on, uh, you know, all the social media um, and leave a comment and let me know what other kinds of videos you might want to see from me. Um, thank you all for watching. I'll see you later. Bye!